What if I told you that Resolume's got some secret functionality that is not documented anywhere and that is not apparent from looking at its user interface? Let's jump into it. While you're probably familiar with some of the BPM functions built into Resolume for controlling video clips, like the cues and the beat looper, you probably don't know that these functionalities can actually be used for things other than video clips. Here I've got this clip from my VJ Pack Beta Gun available on Gumroad, link in the description. And as you can see, you've got the transport timeline here, which has got that marker that represents where we currently are. And then if you've got BPM sync enabled, you will have your cue points and you have your beat looper. We now jump to this. This is a generative clip based around BPM audio shapes, which is a generative source also available on Gumroad. So basically, if you look at the transport control, this now relates to the actual timeline of the audio that is actually here. Now, if I jump onto my MIDI fighter, this knob here is tied to the transport control. So as you can see, I can scrub around not just the audio, but the generative clip. This is done by actually assigning some of the animation settings to clip position. If you've never used clip position, it's extremely handy. It basically allows you to create an entirely scrubbable generative video clip that goes along with audio. It's a complete game changer as far as I'm concerned, especially if you're into doing uh, audiovisual content. So you can see here, because I've got the BPM sync, my cue points and my beat looper are also present. But what happens with all of this if I suddenly just decide to get rid of the audio on my clip? And I'm going to get rid of this audio file that we've got here. Let's re-trigger it. And instantly, you can see that this is going really fast. Our timeline has gone from the transport. There's no beat looper and there are no cues. Well, they are still there. First thing to do is look at the beats in the transport control. It's set to 1B, so that means the, the duration of this uh, generative clip when there is no audio on it is defined by this. So if I increase that, and let's open our settings here. You can see how these things are now moving related to that. Let's make this a bit faster to make it a bit more evident. So you can see this is the timeline of our clip. And basically, although we don't have that representation here, that functionality is still there. This is the secret functionality that I'm talking about. Your scrubbable timeline, your beat looper, and your cues are still there. If you've mapped this with your MIDI controller with a clip that had these things visible, you can now access that same functionality through your MIDI controller, despite the fact that it's not visible on the UI of Wrestle. I've got my MIDI fighter twister and I've got the scrubbable timeline, the beat looper and the cues MIDI mapped already to it. So now I'm just manipulating the scrubbable timeline. And as you can see, I am scrubbing through a generative clip. Now I let go of all that and I'm just applying the beat looper now. And as you can see, you can see it around here. The beat looper is on faster, 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 faster. And off it goes again. Gonna use some of the cues. So you can see the timeline here is very obvious on this part. So there you go. You can use your beat looper, you can use your cue points, and yet you can scrub on generative content. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So always like and subscribe. And I hope that you find this secret functionality as useful as I have, because this for me has been absolutely huge. Traditionally, generative content is set up in motion and then it goes through its paces, but it was very hard, if not impossible, depending on how you created your content, to actually move into the future and jump around a non-existent timeline. This makes it possible to jump ahead and tailor something that will happen in the future without having to sit 
through the whole animation. So it opens up the doors to making very, very tailored generative content to a bit of audio and that uh, goes exactly in time with it. So I've said I'm going to do further tutorials about the techniques that I'm using to create that kind of content. So I hope to see you around for that. Thanks for watching.